Shall we begin? Welcome back to Alkaline TV. This is Douglas Dennis, the Alkaline Chef. Today we're making fruit, quote unquote, jello cups. Look at that. These are amazing desserts, alkaline vegan desserts. Can you believe it? When's the last time you had anything this healthy and this good? I can't wait to dig in. So let's get into it. First, we're gonna start by chopping up the fruit. Now we have made these with fresh fruit and also have done them with frozen fruit. Both works, but you wanna dice it up so that the chunks aren't so big when you're spooning it out. Now this is the agar agar powder and this is another package of agar agar. This is seaweed, believe it or not. And this is going to be like gelatin, except much healthier and vegan. So there it is, it's so inexpensive. We're gonna add that later. So right now we're just dicing up the fruit. And in these ones we put blueberry, strawberry, mango, and we also put raspberries inside the cantaloupe, which we'll show you all how to do that. Is that all you got? Let's begin now. Now, we've made this several times, and I prefer just mango is my favorite flavor. We've also tried peach mango, We've also tried cherry, cherry strawberry, all very good options. All of them are amazing, but my favorite was the just mango, and of course the cream part, the jello cream, which is like a, it's not really coconut flavor, but it's made with coconut. Oh man, aren't you tempted to just dig into this bowl of fruit? Well, patience. A little bit more blueberries. That looks like a good mix. All right, here is my favorite type of coconut milk, which is actually very creamy on the top. We're gonna use two cups of it and two tablespoons of agave. However, this was not sweet enough, so I would do three or four tablespoons of agave next time. And then we're using four grams of the agar agar powder. Now the first time we measured it and weighed it, but the second time we just measured it in a spoon, and I think a little bit less is better so that it's a little more jiggly, but it's not such a big difference. Just whisk it in. And we're going to divide these into different containers. Two of the containers we're using like an ice cream cup, and then the other we're gonna put inside which I'll show you inside the cantaloupe. And you just pour your mixture over top. It's that simple and then you have to cool it in the fridge. Cool them in the fridge, look how good they look. And now we're preparing the cantaloupe. And this is kind of like a pumpkin. We're just gonna cut a hole in the top and scoop all the seeds out. You can also dry and save these seeds. And plant them later. Look there, get all the seeds out so you don't accidentally crunch down on one. And now here's our mixture of fruit that we're adding in. Just spoon it on in, fill it up to the brim, and then you pour in the 
kind of like a vegan custard cream. Fill it all the way up, all the way. And then we're gonna stick this in the fridge and let it cool and it will solidify pretty quickly. There it is in the fridge. Come back later. Here it is later. Now it's solid so you can cut it in half. Oh, this is so much fun. This is the one of, one of the more fun. Wow, look at it inside. This is one of the more fun recipes. Wow, makes me feel like a child again. That's always good. Keeps you young, just like everything else on this channel. How do you stay young? More oxygen in your cells and less toxins. So as long as you keep cleaned out, your cells will stay alive forever. That's my theory. Trees can stay forever and lobsters can live forever as long as they don't get killed. Wow, look at this amazing healthy dessert. Oh, wow. What do you think? Comment below. Will you be trying this at home? You don't even have to have a cantaloupe to do this. I actually preferred it out of the cups. But look how awesome that is. If you're having guests over or if you have kids that want to eat something delicious but also healthy and alkaline, if you want to slip in some seaweed into your diet, this could be a really good way. And here's some date syrup because, like I mentioned earlier, these weren't so sweet. So we added some on top. Problem solved. Ooh, look at the date syrup. I've been talking about date syrup in a lot of my videos recently. Thank you for all the new subscribers, by the way. We have this date syrup in the description, a link for it. And let's taste it. Oh, the moment of truth. Does it stack up to the non-vegan desserts? <gasps> Slow-mo. Wow, you can see all the fruit down in there. We'll try this. Mmm. This is definitely approved. Alkaline Chef approved. Wow. I will be eating this every day. <laughs> and that date syrup is a great topper. But, oh man, look at all the fruit in there. We've got the mango, the strawberry, the blueberry. Very good. And I would have to say, after making this several times, blueberry is my least favorite filling just because, ow! And you can also flip this up and down, up, upside down and make a jello mold. And that is hilarious. It looks really good. And it tastes really good. But let's dig into this one and try it out on camera. Wow! This is very satisfying to have this gelatin replacement. Mmm! The mangoes are delish. And there you have it, folks. Here is the spread of desserts. You've got two of those fruit cups. And let's take a look at these, how jiggly they are. The next time I made it with a little bit less agar agar powder and it was a little bit more jiggly and I loved it. Awesome, thank you so much for watching all the way till the end. I really appreciate your subscribes and your thumbs up. Also, I especially appreciate your comments. Thank you so much for commenting all the new subscribers. Welcome to the channel. And I'm just gonna dig into this leftover. This was the, I think I ate this the next day, the other half, and I just savaged it without even cutting it. I just scooped it all out. 
Wow, this one had raspberries in it. Mmm. Thank you so much for watching all the way till the end. I appreciate it. Have an amazing day on purpose, and I'll see you in the next video. We're posting every single day, so make sure to subscribe and hit the little bell, and I'll see you in the next one. There is a link in the description also for the Alkaline Life Transformation Program. Definitely check that out, but only if you're serious. I don't take everyone as a client, but if you really need it, then don't hesitate.